I've gone over a lot of plugins recently, so I thought I'd balance out the scales and go over some effects that you already own, actually, and you might not even know about them. All of what we're gonna go over can be found in your effects folder, by the way. The first one is called Frame. This effect gives you 12 options to instantly place your video or picture inside a frame. Some of the frames are a little too fancy and cheesy in my opinion, but some are nice. Then, to adjust the amount that it fills up your video, you can just adjust this amount here. Here's a little tip for you, use option 1 and then add the built-in Super 8mm effect by double-clicking. Then make sure to put the Super 8 effect before so it doesn't affect the frame. And now you just put together a cool, vintage-looking shot with a few clicks. If you wanted something a bit simpler, choose Simple Border. This obviously does what it says. It adds a simple border that you can adjust the width of, as well as the color. You could maybe throw your drop shadow effect on there if you want to give the picture-in-picture -picture some depth. You don't have to use this for a picture-in-picture -picture shot though. You could just use this as a nice and simple way to frame your B-roll. While we're on the topic of borders and picture-in-picture -picture type effects, Photo Recall gives you two options for an effect that duplicates your video or picture, allows you to blur and desaturate the background, and adjust the scale of. This could be an interesting way to recall a memory in a video maybe, or you can use it to have a nice side-by-side -side with your shot and maybe some text, since you can adjust the position really easily. This next one is for those who don't like color correction or color grading. If all you care about is adding a bit of contrast and adding saturation, add the crisp contrast effect, and then throw on vibrancy. Vibrancy is nice because it keeps the hue and saturation of your subject's skin at a reasonable level while adding quite a bit more saturation to the rest of your shot. Obviously, I'd suggest learning how to color correct and color grade, but for those who don't care, or for people, say, wanting to pump out stock video clips, give crisp contrast and vibrancy a shot. The next effect is noise reduction, and this obviously reduces noise and digital artifacts in your shot. So if you shot in, say, low light, it can help with making that noise go away. We have a setting for low, medium, maximum, and high, as well as settings to add sharpness on top. It is not perfect though, it doesn't do that well with movement, so if you're looking for a legit way to get rid of noise entirely, try the plugin Neat Video. The next built-in effect is called Crop and Feather, and this lets you really quickly crop your pictures or videos around the corners, and even add a bit of feathering. If you want to create a filmic border around your video, but you don't want to pay to get a plug-in or an overlay, you can just adjust the parameters and you'll get something similar. And from there, you can even throw some built-in generators underneath your clips or whatever to give your shots a different look. Before we move on to the audio effects, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Envato Elements. Here is why a subscription with them is worth it. Envato Elements has 55 million assets that you can download. That is a number big enough to make your brain spin. It has Final Cut Pro and Motion 5 plugins like tons of different transitions, really cool animated templates, titles, and more. You can create better sound design with their large list of sound effects as well as royalty-free music. Download their stock videos and photos for whatever your creative mind can come up with and use their huge list of fonts and motion graphics for whatever you'd like. You can find everything on there, and I mean everything. The best part is you can download as much as you want, unlimited downloads on all of their creative assets, and what's cool is that they offer a 7-day free trial so you can see for yourself that it's worth it. Use the link in the description and you'll get 50% off when you select the annual subscription. Become a better creative and join the Envato Elements family. So instead of explaining what these audio effects do, here are some scenes that I put together with them being used. Hello? Congratulations, you won a year subscription for Premiere Pro. Damn it, Private, what are you doing? Move your ass! Let's go, come down that road! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sometimes I just wish I had a lower voice, you know, it just would, no, 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 that is way too low. I want it to definitely be higher than, no, no, that's too high, what's going on here? Man, I'm hungry. Go have a cupcake, you know you want to, fatty. Buy some candy, actually, we love candy. I need a Snickers. Well, this cathedral is huge. Echo, echo. This one is kind of just a modest cathedral. That's creativity. Strange as it may seem, they give ball players nowadays very peculiar names. They 
nickname. Now, on the St. Louis team, we have who's on first. That's his nickname. We also have... This is me talking without the voice enhancement effect. And this is me talking with the voice enhancement effect. It is a kind of a one-click solution to getting better voice audio instantly. I go over how I use channel EQ in a video on my YouTube channel memberships. So if you're interested in learning more about that, then consider becoming part of the group. And have a fantastic rest of your day, guys.